Sleeping the knife. Think about everything that you could use, your elbow, even from this. Oh. Yes? So when you're here, see, if I go like this, he will not let me. I step away from it. See? Boom. Then when I'm there, I have this. See? Then when I have that, I have this. Everything you want is already there. Just make sure that assume you, you do not have the karabit. The karabit is that's the beauty about the karabit. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> There is no karambit. So that's why assume there is no karambit there. If you are holding a knife, you have to grip it. If not, it's going to fall. If you have a gripping weapon, it will fall. But this one, see? I could grab him like this. Then I could hit him like that. If he goes for a punch, I could be grab him, grab him like this. That's the beautiful thing about karambit. Boom. Yes? There. See? Alright, guys? So assume you have no karambit. Every time you hit, boom. That's why it's very small. You never self-cut yourself. As he comes in here, one, two, see, boom. See my, my hands there, see, I'm pulling him back, boom, open it up. Now, yes? Yes. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's here, I hit the hand. Yeah. So when I'm here, boom, see? So you actually just go along the face or along the neck. So as you pull and push, you cannot do two things at once. Alright right, guys, make sense? Yes. Now, you can slow down the transition. Right. So when I'm here, one, two, this one. As I hit, I... There. Okay. I can either pull or let down the here, then this there. Which makes it much easier. If you guys are here, one, two, so you use your body weight to come to, to push him forward. Don't go like this. <laughs> Just spill it. See how he's spilling it? So once you're there, in reality, don't put your knee on the shoulder blade, put it on the back. There. Alright guys, so if you push, use your whole body. So I'm here, boom. There, as I come to enter to hit them, look, if I start to step into it and push. I have more effort. I need more effort. I can do it. I'm not saying I can do it because it's a strike. He will move when I strike him. But it's not about that. You want to make sure that when you do it, it's an intelligent move. 
You can strike him or you cannot strike him. See, I saw when I'm there. See, my hand is up. Yes. See, even without any, any effort, you can just make him flip. But again, it's not about the flip, it's about the karambit. <laughs> so you're going to set him up so that he falls close to there so he can easily just get uh, open up a So when I'm here, boom, there. See? Look at how I raise my heels, how I raise my knee up. Yes? The thing is because when I'm here, that is what makes it much more effective. So now, see, look how he steps. Okay. See? Okay. Yes. Eddie comes towards me, I want to do this. Boom. Yes, I want to make sure I cut off the tendons there. Look at this, look at this. Yes, I set up tendon, I go for the face. Go get them. It's finished. But again, because it's seminar, you want to prolong the fight. So again, when you're here, as you're here, boom, this. Why would you do that when you can do this? This sticks into the hand. And once you're there, just slap, slap it off. Again, go for the face. The thing is, this is a karambit. It will slice into because it's supposed to be one of the sharpest blades in your arsenal because it's not meant to be used for fencing. It's meant, and if he does stop my hand, I miss. This should be towards the face. And again, take a look at this. Boom, just to the face, to the, to the neck. If not, when I'm here, this one, cut through. As I pass, look at this, it scratches. There. It's the small, small cuts makes a difference because if you cut him here, he'll go like this, which makes him go forward. Because it's a seminar, if you do, do too much that, then you'll be thinking of too much information. So you cut everything down into the most basic structure, then when you see where your hand passes, insert the cut, insert the cut. Learn to find opportunity. So that's why when I'm here, in LRP, one, two. It's a, it's a karambit, it's meant to cut through things. So, again, when I'm here, see how it's on the inside? It's on the inside. When it's inside his hand, tap this, go for his face. This is a karambit, it's also put in a knuckle duster. If I miss his face with the blade, boom, you punch him there, break something. Again, if I'm not, he stop my hand, this elbow, boom, there. See? But again, I'm not here for the elbow, I'm here, there. So, see, I insert this in, I cut it out, I come in, see how I turn easily? This one, I, that's why I take the shoulder blade. There. See how I hit the back of the head? And push and come back in. <laughs> Alright guys, so the small small things. The small small things. But if you take away all those cuts, it just looks like this. Smooth. But in that smoothness, try to find that small cuts. If you get it, perfect. If you if you don't, keep on keep on doing the process of until you finish the finishing cut. But again, you know you could have done you could have done it here, here, here. This is you're punching the lungs. Just once it's inside there, just crack it open. Once it's cracked open, this is a very, very beautiful natural grip. So basically, imagine it's a grip, yes? You keep on pushing him down, he will go down. Because basically, it's what you guys are doing. Ah. That's inside this book.